this time last year, I read my first ever Brandon Sanderson book. And ever since, I've been obsessed. If you watched my Best Books of 2014 video, you will see that he featured prominently. He featured in the top spot. Because that's definitely how I'm feeling at the moment, that no writer can beat him. There's a certain extent to which, if I didn't run a YouTube channel and have to do videos for publishers, and if I didn't work in books and have to read the stuff we're actually publishing, I could just read him all the time, always. And I mean, he's got enough. I mean, if you add up all the hours I've actually spent with my nose in his books, I've probably been reading him for a solid month of time. And yet I've barely scratched the surface. Brandon Sanderson's books are huge and of epic scope. Well, some of them. But they're big stories of huge worlds, like George R.R. R. Martin and Patrick Ruffus. Yet where their publishing schedule looks something like this, Brandon Sanderson's looks like this. Yes, I doubt I'll be complaining about running out of his books anytime soon. He might be able to write faster than I can read them. There's no actual complaints here, it's just that Brandon Sanderson is so good and writes so much that I could, if I chose, live entirely in his worlds. My favourite series by him is The Stormlight Archive, of which there's only two books, really but because they're both over a thousand pages long, it feels like I've spent a lot of time in that world. I love the main characters. They feel like friends of mine. I love the magic system. It feels like something new, something exciting, and yet very internally consistent. And I love the setting. The setting is really what makes Brandon Sanderson stand apart as far as I'm concerned, because he does all the good things other good writers do, but then he pushes on beyond that and makes a world so unlike Tolkien. It's fantasy that really is breaking its own ground. I'd say Brandon Sanderson is the fantasy writer of fantasy readers. He writes books for people who are really familiar with this genre and that go the extra mile. The thing is, when I started a new series by him, The Reckoners, with Steelheart, I thought I couldn't possibly like them as much. I like high fantasy. These were superhero, supervillain books. And yet somehow they were like just as good. They again went beyond any normal book that I encounter, where I thought like, I like normal books this much, this is what good books are to me. Brandon Sanderson was up here. The thing that really struck me about Steelheart is I really couldn't guess what was going to happen. I thought I'd guessed what was going to happen. From our prologue, I thought I'd figured out the weakness. The whole book I was thinking, that's the weakness, wait until someone discovers it. And someone suggests it, and I thought, that was it, I guessed it and then they turn out to be wrong. The huge twist, I didn't guess it, and there turns out to be another twist, which I wasn't even looking for. Just such an amazing book. Anyway, the reason I'm celebrating Sanderson so, so much today is I'm about to start a read-along for some of his books. Lucy, who I've been fortunate enough to meet a few times in real life now, and whose YouTube channel is here, The Book Bell, go check her out. She emailed me asking if I wanted to read along with her in the run-up to the publication of the new Mistborn novel. So here we have the original Mistborn trilogy. I have read the first one. Over the next nine weeks, I am going to reread the first one and then read for the first time the second and third. And every three weeks I will be creating videos talking about the latest book I've read. So if you've never read Brandon Sanderson before, oh my god, what are you doing with your life? Get on it now. Join Lucy and myself and others across the internet as we delve into one of the series he's probably most well known for. It's time for Internet Book Club, people. There's gonna be loads of great things going on. A hashtag, Mistborn Mondays, with new things being posted on it every Monday. Competitions, everyone making their blog posts or videos. There's also a Goodreads group for this, so you can read along with people there. If you've already read them, you can sit there going, oh my god, get to the next page, oh my god, wait till you get to page 300, there's amazing stuff coming. I just did this with a friend of mine who was reading Words of Radiance. Every other page I was like, oh my god, but has this happened yet? Has what happened yet? This, but I can't tell you what it is because spoilers, but you need to get to it. Keep reading, keep reading. My making him read this book was just basically shouting keep reading, keep reading, keep reading at him over and over again. So for me, this is just a brilliant, brilliant experience to continue reading one of my favourite authors in the entire world. I hope some of you join us and can appreciate how amazing he is. With that, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. It is that time again. Throw all other responsibilities to the wind and gather thy books before thee. Because starting on the 3rd of August and running all the way till the 9th of August, it is the 3rd annual.